Uh, one of the first things you do or should do when you get your uh, calculator is um, you want to go into settings and change it so that it's giving you um, as many decimals as you're probably going to need um, when you find intersections. So for example, if I do uh, x squared plus, I don't know, let's say minus 1, and then I also graph sine of x, uh, and I look for the intersection point, so first what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually uh, zoom and then box, and then when you zoom box you go, uh, or I always go top left corner to bottom right corner, let go and it zooms in for you. Um, when I press menu here, and I go to analyze graph intersection, lower bound is to the left, upper bound is to the right. You can see that I got all these. Um, if you just got your calculator, it's probably not giving you as many. Uh, I don't know how to show you how few it's giving you. But anyway, uh, we want to make sure you're getting as many decimals as I'm getting. So what we're going to do is um, press uh, the house or on, uh, go to settings, which is five. There are more than one way to get here, obviously. Um, settings, graphs and geometry. And then display digits is what you need to change. So I think it defaults to um, float 2, but I'm not actually sure about that. I like to make it float 5. And then what you want to do is tab a lot. And you can actually see like all of these things that are options. But the main one we want here is uh, make default. So we're going to change it to float 5, make default, um, OK, scratch pad you should never be using. Uh, what I'll actually do here is I'll change it so that you can see um, that it's not doing that for me. I'll make it float 9, which is ridiculous. Um, so I'm not going to make that my default because I don't want it to stay that way. But if I go back to the current, now you can see, look at how many decimals I'm getting there. Um, whoops, let's undo that. Um, you can see a lot of decimals. And then I'll go back in um, to settings. Settings, graphs and geometry, change my float back to 5, and uh, make default, which I definitely want. Go back to the current, and you can see it's giving me that. So that's one of the first things you should do so that you're always getting, because uh, remember, you're going to need three decimal accuracy as you do uh, problems and store values and things like that. So I would do that first and uh, get it out of the way. Hope that's helpful.